Svelte has been growing in popularity recently and was elected the most loved web development framework in the 2022 Stack Overflow survey. In this video, we will try to understand what makes Svelte special and highlight some difference between Svelte and the most popular framework at the moment. Hi, my name is Kevin. I make video on tech behind products and software engineering, so like the video and subscribe for more. Frameworks without the framework was the title of the blog post introducing Svelte back in November 2016. Modern frameworks are great to help us structure our thought, but not our code, and that's exactly why Svelte shines. By converting your application into pure vanilla JavaScript at build time, making the package easy to interpret by the browser, so your application loads fast. Like, really fast. At his core, Svelte is indeed more of a compiler than a framework. If you compare the size of the zip version of both Svelte and React, the Svelte version is about 26 times lighter, causing your web app to load faster and a reduction in bandwidth cost. The other reason for Svelte speed is a lack of a virtual DOM. A virtual DOM is an object representation of the DOM used by most other frameworks before updating the real DOM. There is a step of comparing the virtual DOM with a previous snapshot in order to look for change and only update the real DOM when a difference is found. That process comes with a cost that Svelte eliminates by directly updating the real DOM when a property change. But speed is not the only reason why developers love Svelte. One other factor is the developer experience. With Svelte, the amount of code to write is significantly reduced for the same result. Take this example of a simple adder. We can observe that the main difference is the need for a function to respond to an input event. Svelte also handles state more naturally, no need for a hook like use state. In fact, if we look at the following example, we realize that Svelte uses reactive declarations to do the work of multiple React hooks with a fraction of the code required by React. Svelte also relies a lot less on third-party tools. React, for example, requires third-party tools for things like state management to create good animations. But Svelte has its own built-in effects transition and animation, so it does not increase the size of your app. Despite all the benefits provided by Svelte, it's probably not the best framework for your current project, mainly due to the small community and lack of backing from big tech. Even though Svelte is on the rise, it's still a small framework, and its popularity is not even close to other frameworks like React or Angular. The result is a little demand for Svelte developers, and very small use in large-scale enterprise projects. Svel is increasingly becoming one of my favorite frameworks to use. So let me know in the comment if you want more Svel related content or which technology you want me to cover next. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos and see you in the next one.